up, Beauty Tears? You've got Fats here and uh, the amazing author, Margie Orford, with us. We are in our third installment of the UCT Alumni Spotlight. I did a BA in English and Economic History and Philosophy, and then I, that was 82, 83, 84, 85. Then I left for a year and I came back and did my honours in English in 1987. My first year I joined Varsity, so I wrote for Varsity, and we had some great editors. Ah. Um, then some of whom I'm still friends with, one of whom is actually my publisher now in South Africa, Jeremy Borain. It was a really interesting time to be writing. Politics had just exploded and stuff. So we, we, we were the, I was working on the issues when they had those ones that were first blanked out because everything was censored. Wow. And then we blacked it out and then it was made illegal to do a blackout of the press. So then we whited it out and that was also <laughs> made illegal. Um, and so then we just printed a blank newspaper said Varsity and then it became illegal to print a Varsity magazine with nothing on. So, so, so we had, it was quite interesting. Quite a few challenges yeah. I imagine. In 1985 when I was in my final year, my third year, the state of emergency was declared. So I was detained at the end of that year and managed to write my finals in Polsmore. <laughs> You have the pressure of trying to pass and the pressure of trying to survive well, in prison as well. I wrote philosophy, my philosophy exam in Polsmo, and there was a, a guy invigilating us had a gun and it was kept on hitting the side of the desk and eventually I said to him, look, if we cheat at philosophy, are you going to shoot us? So he <laughs> said, no, 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 he wouldn't shoot us. I said, well, please stop knocking the gun on the desk, I can't concentrate. Please dispel this myth or prove it true, is res food worse than prison food? <sighs> Hard to tell. <laughs> prison food is worse. Okay. Prison food is worse. Okay, wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> you bumped into J.M. Kutsia at a stage? <laughs> John Kutsia taught me uh, when I did my honours. Yeah, he gave me an English seminar. I remember writing an essay for him, which I got very high mark for and the only comment there were these tiny little pencil marks and the comment at the end of it was glimmers of intelligence he is the, to me is one of the great masters of literature of this this century and last century in disgrace which um describes this horrible gang rape of a, a young woman with her father kind of locked next door I was fascinated how he took that on, but it was also for me one of the triggers that made me want to write about crime in South Africa and as a way of understanding what this language of violence is, why, why we have this place that is on the one hand quite and accurately the rainbow, a kind of miracle nation, and on the other hand there's this underbelly of extreme violence. Yes. Phrase of advice, what would that be in terms of getting to where they want to be and not being discouraged by the trials and tribulations of the media industry and just pursuing their goals. I have two pieces of advice. The one I got from Alexander McCall's, McCall Smith who wrote uh, the number one ladies detective ah. series. And he says if you're convinced you have a book inside of you, get yourself x-rayed and if there is one you can have it surgically removed. <laughs> if you get x-rayed, this is my advice, if you're x-rayed and there is no evidence of a book inside of you, the test is to go and sit by yourself in a room for a whole year and if you can do that you can probably write a book. And most people when you're 20 or 25 you're too young actually to write a book. You've hardly worked out which end of yourself is which and what it's for. So give yourself a bit of time and say by the time I'm 35 or 40 okay. then I will do it. So you give yourself, be an appy for a while. It's like being a mechanic. Just got to learn the stuff. Or a sushi chef. I've got two <laughs> more books that are sold and that I have to write. So okay. So then you and the other students watching this as well shall be toiling away the next week, test week, book week, everything else. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be working. Okay yeah. then. Thank you. Thank you.